This video will show you how to not get stuck in a parallel reality. You may be stuck and don't even know it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to go beyond that. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you that of understanding how you may be stuck in a parallel reality and not even know it. And this has to do with understanding first off just the autopilot mind, the way that we think, how our thoughts, our emotions, and our feelings are consistently shifting us to a parallel reality that is equal to whatever that which we identify with. And you can also kind of look at this from the point of view of the movie The Matrix. One of a uh, movie that I really enjoy that I watched years ago was the movie The Matrix, which I'm sure you've seen it before. And if not, you should definitely watch it. And it has to do with understanding how there's this metaphor in reality that reality isn't what it seems. The matrix is a represented by an autopilot way of thinking where many people believe that that is who they are. It's kind of like going into a video game and believing that you are the avatar and then finding out that the game itself is a virtual reality. And then you go through different experiences of waking up to more of who you are. And that's what the movie The Matrix is about. It's just used in a metaphorical type way where people are like fighting and stuff. And then there's like ways they use the mind to hack reality. There's a cool part in the movie as well where Morpheus is like, what is, what is real? That which is interpreted by your senses, which are like thought, which are like vibrations, interpretations, interpretations of vibration. And it really kind of puts the script on us because then we could see that what we perceive of in our reality is an interpretation of vibration. And vibration is everything. That's what quantum physics shows us. Everything is a different rate of vibration of the same one thing. Now, when we look at parallel reality shifting, it's important to understand that most of us are on autopilot. It's just the way it is. If you look to the teachings of Dr. Joe Dispenza, he says the same thing. He says, you're living in the record of, a pa of the past. And if you consistently think the same thoughts, you're going to feel the same emotions, you're going to do the same things, and it's going to keep this, keep this perpetual cycle going over and over and over again. And what happens is, is we keep having what is called Groundhog's Day, where we do the same thing over and over and over again. I know when I had my old 9 to 5 job years ago, I would go into work every day. Sometimes I'd have almost the same conversations. Yes, some of the customers would change. I worked in women's shoes, so I was helping different people, but it'd sometimes even be similar situations. And then at the end of that day, I'd go back home and I would do similar things. And it felt like this autopilot type reality. And in a way it was because I was thinking the same thoughts, I was feeling the same emotions, I was doing the same things. And when it comes to understanding us shifting through different parallel realities, if we stay tied to the same level of thinking, if we stay tied to the same thoughts every day, the same emotions every day, the same actions every day, we will create the same type of experience every single day. And understand that the paradox of this is that you can never actually be stuck in a parallel reality. You can never actually be stuck in it because we are shifting every single moment. It's just that some people may create the experience of the same thing over and over again, but we're shifting to the same experience over and over again because of our familiarity with what is comfortable. So we use reality in that way. And many times it may just be the definition itself, the definition of I am stuck. Well, then we create the experience over and over again of being stuck because of that vibration. That vibration has an actual feeling to it. There's a certain level of resistance of being stuck in that parallel reality timeline. They give it as timelines. And there's certain timelines. If you do the same things every day, you feel the same emotions every day, you think the same thoughts every day, then you're going to get the same results every single day. But it's new results. However, it'll appear to be the old results. It'll appear to be Groundhog's Day. So you see, this changes the game because then you see, well, if I'm shifting regardless, why don't I just create a greater degree of change from where I am to quote unquote, where I want to be. So where I am, where I want to be. What most people do is they create 
from the record of the past, like Dr. Joe Dispenza would say, or they recreate the same level of thinking from the consistent thoughts, feelings, and emotions they have over and over and over again. Of course, this is completely new parallel realities over and over and over again, but the definitions of being stuck or the definitions of being comfortable of what we think reality is will keep that going over and over and over again. The key is creating the greater degree of change from this reality to this reality. And understand this, this reality and this reality, they both exist at this moment right now. They're just vibrating at different frequencies. In the same way that we may tune to a certain channel on the television. You may tune to ESPN. You may tune to HGTV. Watch them tear down houses and rebuild them. You may, you may tune yourself to MTV. You may tune yourself to the news. Whatever channel you tune to is the one you're going to vibrationally resonate with. But here's the thing. You cannot change the channel you are on. This is one of the newest insights I've had about personal development in general. Many times we will try to change ourselves. There is no change. There is only shifting. Because you see, the parallel reality version of you that still hasn't gotten out of that stuck parallel reality, that still exists. Just in the same way that you might be watching ESPN and understand that HGTV still exists. You don't try to change ESPN. What you do instead is you tune to a new frequency of a new version of you. Change is an illusion. Change is an illusion. Instead, it's about shifting. Shifting is the new transformation. Because with shifting, you shift your identity with it. Instead of identifying with the person that's always thinking the same thoughts, feeling the same emotions, doing the same thing, you can then instead transform and shift to the reality you prefer. You can let go of the past. When you stay tied into the past of the old identity, you keep some of that energy momentum going in the new reality. Instead, understand you're constantly shifting. Just like you might change the channel to a new channel, you're tuning to a new frequency. If you want, you could go to the old identity. You could go back from HGTV to ESPN if you want to. But what you might find is that when you go from maybe the news to a new channel, you feel a lot better. And then you don't really want to go back. You're like, why, why would I pay attention to the news and have it bring me down and have me focus on this part of the negative parts that happened in the world and have me emphasize with my thoughts and my emotions and getting triggered to feed into this old reality? You know what? I don't prefer that anymore. I prefer to stay tuned to a channel that makes me feel good. And I enjoy Shark Tank. Or I enjoy the OA. These are two shows I like. But then I stay tuned to it, but I wouldn't go to a channel that I don't like. I, I put on Netflix shows before that I, I think I might like and I, I realize I don't like them. But then what I do is I just don't watch them if I don't like them. But what many people do is they find something they don't like and they stay focused on it. And they stay focused on it and they think they have to stay focused on it. When you can always change your focus in the same way, don't stay tuned to a Netflix show you don't like. Tune to a new one in the same way. Don't do something in reality that you don't prefer to do and think that you have to stay locked into it. It's like you've, all, you've already watched two seasons and there's like six more seasons and you're like, well, I've already watched two seasons. I might as well watch the other six. You don't have to. If you don't prefer that reality, change your focus, change your thoughts, change your beliefs about reality, change the way that you see yourself and you'll get a new reality. But it's about choosing something new, not changing the old reality. This makes, this makes reality a lot more fun. This makes reality a lot more loose because then you can see it's more about vibrational resonance. So when you're walking out into the world, you can ask yourself, I was looking at my grass, it's like wet out there and I was like, did the grass come on today or is it raining? When we look at the world, we can then identify the different frequencies we want to experience and then choose to resonate with it. But that comes from a point of choice. There's always choice. We choose how we respond to what happens in our life.
Things have no built-in meaning. Think about this. I'm going to come over here on this in the frame. Oh wait, I don't know, maybe it'll, yeah, see it kind of, kind of does that with the, um, there you go. <laughs> it's a new camera, so I can't do the, the cocky stuff I normally do where I, I walk from one side to the other and I'm like, I don't know, maybe I can. So, normally what we do though, is we have something that happens in our life, and in the moment something happens, if we give it a positive meaning, we experience a reality, we tune to a reality, a TV station that already exists, of something that is positive, something that is beneficial. The moment something happens, if we give it a negative meaning, we then go on the negative, the negative channel. Both channels exist. The key is choosing to give things a positive meaning because then you will experience a positive channel. But then again, it's choosing, not creating. This whole create your own reality thing, you don't have to ever create your own reality. Every probable reality you can imagine already exists because everything exists here and now. As you move, you are shifting through these different parallel realities. That's what time is. Time is the movement through different parallel realities. It's just that we have memory, so we're able to tie all these together and go, well, there is time. The only moment is now. It's just that there's different perceptions of the same now moment, so we experience through memory the linking together. Because I can remember that I just went like this, I can then link them together and say, didn't I just do that? <coughs> so for this, understand that the power of this video is understanding that if you are stuck in a parallel reality, it is because of the identity it is because of the choice of the thoughts. They're just comfortable. You're thinking them over and over and over again. You're staying tuned to a channel that you may not prefer, unless you're stuck in a very positive parallel reality, but the word stuck implies no choice. Many people are stuck because they are in a more of a, a victim mindset. Things are happening to them and there's nothing they can do about it. And I know it sounds kind of harsh to say that, but I've been through pain growing up. I know what that's like. I'm not saying it from like level of entitlement, I get it that it's hard and it can be hard, but a lot of times the belief we have that it is hard is what causes it to be hard. And the belief that we are stuck is what causes us to believe stuck. And the belief that we're a victim is what causes more and more experiences in our life for us to reflect back to us that we are a victim. When we can change that identity, we can change that parallel reality track anytime we want with choice, choice. Choice is more powerful than decision. Decision, the word decision means to cut off from. So it's like you have certain choices, but you're going to cut off certain choices and you have to choose something. Choice is something that you, is something that is very empowering because it's not like you have to cut off anything. It's like you just choose. You just choose. You're not given a finite number of two things you can decide from. You're given a choice. And in every moment when you choose, you have more ability and you have more power. So stuck is an illusion created by our definition. I say this before about other things as well, parallel reality of waiting. Some people are waiting for things to happen. The vibration of waiting is a vibration in of itself. Instead of focused on time of when will something happen, focus on timing. Focus on being in the moment because then that's a separate reality frequency. There's many different frequencies. There's a frequency of stuck. There's a frequency of flow state. There's a frequency of love. There's a frequency of anything you can imagine. What are you tuning to? What channel are you tuning to? They all exist. But if you find yourself watching the second season of a Netflix show that you don't prefer to watch, but you feel like you have to, change the definition, change the channel. Change the Netflix show that you're tuned to. So with that, if you'd like, I have a meditation that will help you to raise your vibration to a higher state of consciousness. If you listen to it for 21 days, I think it can change your life. It's gonna be the top of the description box below. Also, I'm gonna be doing more live Q and A's on Instagram. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, you can follow me here. I answer questions, plus I post twice a day there as well. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification gear so you can see the daily vids that I do. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.